Hey guys, what is up? It's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we have a really fun one. I ordered, I think, seven total prom dresses off of the Wish app. And if you guys don't know what the Wish app is, I'm sure most of you know. But if you don't, it's an app where you can get like literally anything for super, super cheap. So prom season is approaching pretty quickly. I ordered these dresses so I could kind of test out and see if they're going to be worth it. And before we hop into it, I do want to mention that I just got the last package today. It is Tuesday, February 19th, and I placed the order on January 26th. I believe. So all of the dresses in total took a little bit over three weeks to get here. So I would say that's pretty good coming from um, China. I'm pretty sure they all came from China. Yeah. I'm really excited for this video and let's just go ahead and hop right into it. Okay guys, don't judge my outfit. I do have sweatpants on right now. I want it to be nice and comfy. But I have all of the prom dresses over here and I'm just going to randomly pick one and open it up. So I have no recollection of like any of the prom dresses that I ordered. All right. This one is a blue dress. I feel like once I open them up, I'm going to slightly remember what they look like. This looks kind of big, honestly. Okay, that looks really see-through. Oh my gosh, can you guys see me? I don't know if you guys can see. This one is supposed to be a knockoff of the two-piece Sherry Hill dress. I'll put a picture of that in here somewhere. But this one was $13, so for $13, honestly, it's not that bad. Let's go ahead and try this on. Here is the first dress. I'm actually pretty darn impressed. Obviously, it doesn't look exactly like the picture. It's not gonna look exactly like a Sherry Hill dress that's embellished and like crazy beautiful, but it actually isn't that bad and it has pockets, guys. I'm gonna point you guys down so you can kind of see. It also has like a really big slit on the side and I, for $13, I think this is a pretty good dress. Here is what the back looks like. I couldn't get this up here because I'm just really bad at fastening things. It does have that in the back, that little like circle detail with a zipper and then it has a nice halter. And then this part is a little bit big on me, but really pretty much any prom dress needs to be altered. Overall, I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10. It's actually really pretty. Obviously the bottom needs to be steamed and stuff because it is quite wrinkly. After alterations and stuff, I feel like this could be a really pretty dress. And for $13, and this looks better than some of the dresses that people spend like hundreds of dollars on. I'm not even kidding. I wanna take you out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Show you what I'm all about. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So moving on to the next dress here. Hmm. Oh, this is a two-piece. So here is the next one. This is the top. And then it has this really flowy bottom here. This looks like it might be just a tad bit see-through, but it has like a really flowy bottom. This is the second dress. Um, the bottom is a little bit see-through, as you guys can probably see. And the top doesn't really fit that well, but it is really pretty. I think that it has, like, I love the sparkle and the detail on that. The cut right here is like extremely uneven. I feel like this one definitely had potential. I think this one was $12. Yeah, this one was $12. I feel like if you were a seamstress or something, you could definitely fix it. And the overall like idea of it is really nice. Add a new under layer, kind of fix up like this flowy part because if I point you all the way down, it just looks a little bit awkward. For how it is right now, I'm going to give it a five out of 10. Ooh, 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 I wanna take you out. This one doesn't look that bad. So here is what this one looks like. Another halter top. If you guys can't tell, I do like halter tops. 
but it's just this light pink color and I think it does have a slit. Yep, it looks like it has a slit. And for this one, I paid $15. So here is the third dress on. I absolutely love, love, love the color of this one. I really like the top. This little like choker thing is a little bit on the wonky side though but other than that i really like this whole top half this is one of my favorite styles of prom dress like the really flowy kind of like tight at the top and then really flowy and loose at the bottom here is the bottom it is the slightest slightest bit see-through but i am wearing dark underwear right now which was probably not the best idea so i feel like if you wore nude or like really light undies you'd be fine and then here is the back it has the zipper and then it like ties up at the top there with some alterations and like some little tweaks i would wear this one to prom personally so i'm gonna give this one a 9 out of 10 but yeah i'm really impressed with this one ooh, 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 i want to take you out Moving on to the next one. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. So in the picture, this dress looked absolutely gorgeous. It looked so, so pretty. And it's just a v-neck and then it goes down into this poofy, pretty, like princess dress. And just for reference, I did get all of these dresses in a size small. So for this one, I paid $21. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out. This is the fourth dress. This one isn't horrible. I just feel like the proportions are kind of off on it. I feel like this should go a little bit lower and cinch a little bit above your waist so it gives you more shape because I feel like I just look extremely poofy right now. Came down a little bit more and cinched around right here. It would look a lot better saying that even the back looks a little bit awkward and there's a little bit too much fabric at the side here it's kind of giving me some little flaps but other than that it's not itchy or anything i just think it needs to be cinched a little bit lower i'm pretty sure that that's something a seamstress could do or like where you get it altered i'm pretty sure they could do that so for this one i am going to give it an 8 out of 10. Ooh, 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 i want to take you out so this next one is a style very similar to this one it is just in this like white silvery color but this one is also like that really poofy kind of cinderella style and this one was 15 dollars. so we're gonna go ahead put this one on so here is the fifth dress this one is extremely itchy i feel like with materials like this one even if you buy a 200 plus dress it's still going to itch you but this one like i said is that really puffy kind of cinderella style dress and then it has a really deep v in the back Personally, this isn't a style of prom dress that I would go for, but I know a lot of people do like it. So this one, I am going to give an 8 out of 10. Alright, so this next one is a long sleeve dress and it's supposed to have a slit. Oh, yep, it does have a slit. I don't know if I'm gonna really like this one, but it's just a black long sleeve dress with some lace detailing on the arms and a slit at the bottom. This bottom part actually feels really, really thick and nice. So I'm already impressed with that, but we will see how it looks on. Alright, so here is the next dress. My arms are absolutely suffocating in this. Like, I can't move my arms and I couldn't zip the rest of this because my arms can't move. But I don't know if I really like this one. I kind of feel like I'm going to a funeral. It does have a slit right here. Something that I am really impressed with is the quality on the bottom half of this dress. So that's definitely a pro to this dress, but the top half I just like cannot move my body in. It is a really nice length. And this is an up close of the top here. I don't really like the lace. This one I personally don't really like. So I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. So on to the very last dress. This one also long sleeve. Feels 
nice. Oh. So this one wouldn't load, but I believe this one was around $20. It's like this really soft kind of spandexy material, but I really don't like the pearl detailing on the back of it going down. I am interested to see what it looks like on. It might surprise me. I don't know. So here is the last dress. I feel like we're slowly kind of going downhill. So this one, the arms are kind of an awkward length. They're not really all the way down. It has like this little mesh part right here, which I think is a little odd. What's the point of that? I don't know. So it is a little bit big for a small. It has a nice slit in the side if I can get my leg out. It is a little bit long for me, but I'm 5'1", so I'm really short. It'd probably be a normal length on most people. But the material of this one is like a super soft spandexy material, so it's super comfy, and I feel like you wouldn't get overly sweaty and hot in it. But I feel like you could definitely fix this dress up, cut the slit a little bit higher, and maybe you could add some like embellishments or lace. But I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10, and that is all the prom dresses that I ordered off the Wish app. I do want to say before I end this video, if any of you guys liked any of the prom dresses that I tried on or can't afford a prom dress or whatever the case may be, please, please DM me on Instagram and I will send you whatever dress you want because I am out of high school. I'm not going to use any of these dresses and otherwise I'm just going to donate them. So I want to give you guys a first pick if any of you guys want any of them. It is at Anna Serenetti. I will go ahead and send them to you for free. So with all of that being said, if you did like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and join the family. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.